Hey, what's up y'all? Jorge Manuel here. Thank you for stopping by. Today I got a bit of a delayed review. It is the Air Max 1 anniversary in the evergreen colorway. So please stick by if you want to catch some close-ups of the shoe as well as some on feet. Before we get started, I want to ask y'all to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. It would help me grow the channel. And as some of y'all know, there will be another giveaway at 250 subscribers. So with just one click, you'd be entered. So think about it, y'all. This video will be part of a new series that will be focused solely on runners. So I know that I usually drop Jordans and SBs and I will still keep doing that. But this series, again, will be focused on just runners. Now, ideally, I'd like them, ideally, I'd like them to be under 200 bucks, and they might be newer releases or older releases that might go on discount that I'm a fan of. So, we all know Nikes and Yeezys are well over 200 bucks, and that, that's cool and all, but it can get pricey after a while. And sometimes you just want a good runner, a fresh shoe that looks good. That's maybe under 150 or under 100 bucks so i just want to share some purchases that i make of shoes that i really like that aren't so expensive and uh, more people can afford so this is what this series will be dedicated to so i hope you enjoy this first video of the runners series all right let's move on with this unboxing so before we get to that um, again this is the air max one anniversary in the evergreen colorway this shoe came out i want to say about three months ago it came out first as part of a surprise slash shock drop and i was a little late to the notification and once i got to the site there was only big sizes left so i was not lucky enough to get the shoe early on it later dropped in europe and i struck out there again and finally it dropped on sneakers and what do you know i struck out there too so I bought this on StockX and you can currently get this at under 200 bucks and that's with shipping and fees. So I'll throw up a screenshot of StockX right here where well, y'all can take a look and see what, what sizes are going for what prices. But I got this in a size nine at 180 bucks. So it wasn't too bad. Again, with shipping, it was close to 200 bucks and retail I believe was 150. So not too much over retail, but let's move on with this unboxing. <clears throat> now, the Air Max 1 is by far my favorite Air Max. Um, I like the Air Max 2s, the Air Max 3s, or as some of y'all call them, the Air Max 90s. But again, the OG, the number one, that is my favorite runner for sure. Now, I don't know if they qualify as runners anymore because for those of you that are fans of the Air Max, it is way too chunky, too heavy for a three mile run. So definitely not what I use them for. It is different than those typical Air Maxes that you see at your local mall. 
Um, those use different materials and sometimes different cuts, but the anniversary, if you don't own an anniversary, you definitely have to buy one. So classic Nike box. Here is the shoe tag. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, so nice. Again, green, my favorite color. Air Max One, my favorite Air Max. This one was a must. And like I mentioned, exactly the same materials as those Air Maxes that released, I think it was 2017, those anniversary Air Maxes where they released the OG colorway, which is that red and that Royal. So let me bring out those Royals so y'all can take a look. So here is that Air Max Royal anniversary. So again, these came out in 2017. And again, it is the same material that they use for these. They are both anniversaries. <laughs> One thing that did annoy me with, with this shoe is that these are tough to wash. Once you wash them, they sort of yellow in this like, um, in this material on the upper. Now I have seen some videos on YouTube where you can sort of use a, a technique to remove the yellowing. So I'll probably try to do that in a later video and hopefully it helps. It, hopefully it works and hopefully it helps y'all out. But anyways, let's lace, let's lace up these evergreens and then show you some close-ups and some on feet. All right, my friends, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for tuning in to this first video of this runner series. I hope y'all enjoy. I will be dropping another video in this series shortly within the next two to three days. And again, my goal is to show y'all the shoes that I enjoy, the ones that I get at a bargain or ones that aren't too expensive. Basically, I just wanna give y'all an option of shoes that aren't too expensive, ones that are just as dope, just as fire as those really hyped shoes and aren't at that price point. So hope y'all enjoyed, like and subscribe if you did. I'd really appreciate it and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.